Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about a very delicate subject, literally delicate. We're going to be talking about how to help eggs hatch, how to help chicks hatch out of eggs to be more exact. Now, this is something I really hope most of you watching will find interesting and educational, but not actually need to use. So hopefully you won't have to put this into practice, but it's better to know. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more animal videos. Before we get started with today's video, I would like to thank the sponsor, Over Easy Chicken Coop. This company makes beautiful chicken coops. These coops are not only super cute, but also made with Amish craftsmanship, so they are extremely sturdy and keep your flock safe and protected. These coops are meant to last. Keep your chickens warm in the winter and have functioning windows that can be open for the summer as well as other ventilation. The coops are also large enough for you to step inside. Learn more about them by either clicking the link in the description to view their website or by watching my assembly video. Now first, before we start off this video, I wanna stress how important it is to wait for your eggs to hatch, to be patient and to actually give them time. This entire process takes hours, sometimes even days, and so you do not want to brush it. It is super important. So please never use these methods to help a chick out of the egg. Chicks do not need your help. Birds are incredible animals that have evolved over time to be able to do this. They do not need your help. What I'm going to be showing you today in this video is what to do in a life or death situation. So the only time you should be doing this is if the only other alternative is to let the chick die in the egg. This is not to speed along the process, not to help the chick. This is to save chicks that end up stuck in their egg for one reason or another. Hatching is a very hard process and so just because it looks hard does not mean that you need to help. So I wanna make that very clear. This is so that you can prevent your chicks from dying, but it is not to help a healthy egg hatch. Another thing I wanna point out is that people often say if an egg can't hatch, it's because the chick is disabled and won't be able to survive. That's not true. I'd say about 90% of the time when I've helped my birds, the chick came out healthy. Sometimes it does happen that the chick hasn't developed correctly and it does die, but that's not always the case. And I wouldn't say it's in their best interest to just let them die in the egg because they might be unhealthy, because really they could be perfectly fine. So let's talk about what's happening inside the egg. You need to understand this in order to know how and when to help. The when is what's crucial here. After 21 days of being incubated, a chicken egg will be ready to start hatching. Now, of course, the number of days does depend on the species. At the time, the chicks will start to make noise. You'll be able to hear them even before they start hatching. When they start making noise, they are actually not fully done developing. They are attached to the egg by the yolk and blood vessels. Around the time the chick starts to hatch, the yolk will ascend into the abdomen of the chick and it takes some time to fully close. This is actually what provides the chick with food for the first two days of its life. Now this is a very critical time for them. If they are hatching and you feel like they need help, so you go and you get them out of the egg, this is when they can bleed to death. That is why it is so important to be patient. Hatching is a slow process, not just because it's hard, but because lots of things are happening and it all takes time. So now I'm gonna be showing you some examples of when I have helped chicks hatch from their egg. These are some times when I've recorded it. The examples I'm gonna be using are chickens. This first one is pretty simple. Basically, the chick just got its head far enough out the egg that it got it stuck and it couldn't continue turning in order to hatch. So basically, when the chicks are inside the egg, this muscle back here on their neck swells up real big and gives them the force that they need to be able to um, peck out of their egg. They're using a little tooth that's on the very top of their beak and they need to do that all the way around so they're actually going to be turning in the egg. This chick um, stuck its beak too far out of the egg at one point and was not able to keep turning. This chick seems to be hatching completely normal. He's got it all the way around. There he is. So he's being able to hatch. This one has looked like this for the past um, 10 hours, I guess. So he's not being able to, I mean, he's pushing pretty hard, but we're going to see if we can make it a little bit easier by cracking all of this side. All of this side is still um, 
it, it's still not cracked, so that's why he's having such a hard time. He's getting there, but we're going to try to make it a little bit easier. So, as we can see, he's already starting to dry. So, we know that his, um, his yolk has ascended into his abdomen. And, oh, almost, little guy, you are tough. And... Um, there's no more blood vessels that are open. So, what we want to do is peel off the shell so that the membrane is still intact. And this is going to help him push the rest of the way. He's still trying, but he got his beak out too far on one side, and he's not being able to see this one. Still has the beak inside, and is still being able to crack the shell. This one's almost ready to come out. Yep, that helped him. He's tough. So if just removing the shell hadn't have actually helped him get out of his egg, what we would have done next is started to remove the first layer of the mem membrane. You can't even tell that there's two layers right now because it is so dry because he's been there for such a long time now. So he's out now. Uh, now he's just going to be standing up and breaking away from there we go see um, all dry inside yolk ascended there we go and he is still in that position so this is the position that they're in in the egg really neat that he's actually still in that position to be able to show you but their head is curled around and their beak is right here and so they're actually poking through their egg with their head bent around like this He's having trouble coming out of that position, so um, it might be because of how long he was in the egg um, after being ready to come out, and it might also be because of the cold. So I'm going to stick him under the hen and see if that'll help. So with this example, you can hopefully better understand how the chick is positioned in its egg and what's happening. Anytime you help them, you want to help a little and see if they can do it themselves. Don't do everything for them all at once. Do a little bit, give them time, do a little bit more. Now this chick that you just saw did straighten out after a few hours of getting heat from his mother. Having raised a lot of chickens now, I truly believe that the most important factor in raising chickens is heat. Obviously food and water are mandatory, but honestly heat is such a big deal. Cannot stress that enough, they need the correct temperatures. The chick from the video I showed you is very healthy and doing very well. So that was a pretty simple example. Now this next one is a chick that was completely unable to hatch at all by himself and I had to help him through the entire process. I had five eggs in total and four of them had hatched and a day later the last egg was still peeping but had not made a peep hole. Eventually I decided to start the process of helping him out of the egg. The first step is making the peep hole. When chicks are ready to hatch, they will create a peep hole. And this is usually the first crack in their egg. And once this is done, they will usually rest for a few hours. So in order to do this, you need to know exactly where the chick's head is. This can be done by candling the egg. You'll need a really bright flashlight so that you can see inside the egg. This is probably the hardest part when it comes to helping a chick. Finding the beak and then creating a small hole without stabbing the egg and without breaking any other part of the egg. Once that's done, the egg should be left alone for at least seven to eight hours. They might start hatching. If not, then you continue to break off pieces of the egg. Make sure you only remove the eggshell and not the membrane, which is the white sac. There are actually two layers of the membrane. Once the eggshell pieces are removed, let the chick rest and see if they will push out of the egg. Now, if that doesn't happen, you will need to check and make sure that the membrane is dry. Then you can start to remove the first layer. It's really important for it to be dry, so leave it for a few hours before doing this. If the blood vessels haven't closed yet, the chick will bleed to death. If the membrane is still wet and you pull it off, you can pull off the skin of the chick 
causing it to bleed to death. So I will say it again, this process isn't going to take you 20 minutes just sitting down and getting it done. This process can take over 36 hours. So what I'm doing here in this video is that once I was sure the membrane had dried, I went ahead and wet it again with a damp paper towel to make it easy to lift off in case it had gotten stuck to the skin or the feathers in some places. And while peeling it off, I didn't want it to tug at the skin or get stuck. And then started the very slow process of removing it from the chick's body. And so this is my game rooster and he did not hatch at all, but now you can see that he is just a big, beautiful rooster. So don't believe people when they tell you that it is impossible. Now I did the entire hatching process for him and I thought there were going to be all kinds of things wrong with this chick. However, he did come out 100% healthy to my surprise and I'm really glad. And so yeah, that's... Uh, it's not always what people say and they can actually be really healthy and you can help them. So I hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.